Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna continue Lava Lunion Week, where I show you guys how to raid and how to three star with this incredible army. So let's check out some war raids that we did recently right here with Farming Kings. This was a great war, as you can see, they only won by one star, so you know it was a good war. And it's Farming Kings. You may know them, they're a really uh, long time farming clan, high level clan. They've been around at least as long as Unity, if not longer. So uh, what's up to them? Uh, let's check out some of the best raids in this war because they were some great examples of what to do when you need a three star at base. Here we go. Uh, this may be number 33 in the enemy clan, but as you can see, it's a pretty decent base. He's got good defenses. Most of them are maxed. So let's see how we start the raid here. We're going to go in with two golems. This is the most important part of the raid, the setup. If we don't get this right, we're going to fail. So let's see what we're doing here. We've got the golems spread out a little bit, about three buildings width apart. That's what I would call it. Uh, we're doing that so we can protect our wizards. We've got to get these wizards on the outside to take out all the buildings they can so there's no distractions for our heroes it's very important got to make sure you take those out so now we're just clearing a path for the king and the queen basically to get in there to where that jump spell is now once they get in that jump spell and pretty much into that compartment we're gonna have them take out this air defense here of course the queen uh the expo there and the inferno and if they do all that this is gonna be really really worth it we're using a lot of troops, we're using a lot of spells, and we're killing our heroes. But if it works, it's worth it. So let's see what happens here. Now we've already got the jump spell down. I put it down really early like that because the jump spell, it lasts like 45 seconds. You can put it down early. So here's another tip. You guys may wonder why I put the, uh, why I use the Barb King ability so early. I just do that to protect him. Once you hit the Barb King ability, he spawns all those barbs and um, it just protects him more. So once he jumps in here, he's not under fire from every direction. His barbs are getting shot instead. That's just personal preference, guys. Uh, there, I was able to uh, lightning most of the clan castle. It's hard to see what's going on, you know? There's so much going on there. Everything's shooting at your golems and, and your king. But I just wait a second, let the clan castle bunch up, and then drop the lightning on where I think it is. So there we go. Looks like we took everything out pretty easily. The queen still has some health. She's taken out a few more buildings, which is awesome. All right, guys. Here is another very important part of the raid. The initial deployment. You want to use, uh, I always say, you want to go in heavy on this initial deployment. And that means about half of your balloons. Now, they're not going to be in one spot. They're going to be in, like, three spots like I did here. But you want to go in heavy because those balloons are going to bunch up and we want them to bunch up around here where this air defense is, expo is, and inferno is so they can take out those heavy buildings. Now let's keep going. We're going to basically start in this left corner here and then just work our way around the base in a circle. So there we go, second lava hound with a few balloons behind it just to keep taking out defenses as we go. We're going to, of course, put another group of troops on the very bottom of the base here. Oh, one Lava Hound and a few balloons. So we're just still working our way from left to right around the base. Looks like we're getting to the final corner now. This is important. You want to save something for the end of the raid here. You're always going to have, usually going to have, one final Wizard Tower to take out. And they're pretty pesky, man. Max Wizard Towers especially, they're, they're really hard on your balloons. So we saved a few balloons and we dropped them slowly on the right side to distract that Wizard Tower and to help take it out. So it looks like that worked pretty well. Now we have to dig out this max uh, air defense, which can take down our balloons in two shots or less. Looks like we do have enough balloons to take it out though. The final defense is a cannon, so yes, we did it. As long as we can clean up all the rest of the buildings. This is another important part. When you plan for a raid like this, you gotta have, you should have, some cleanup troops. Now for this, I brought a few goblins because there was uh, storages outside, a lot of mines and pumps outside so I can use those goblins to help take out those buildings really fast but I still have to rely on the balloons and the lava pups to take out some of the other buildings but for this case it looks like it's gonna work sometimes you'll end up with a lot of lava pups sometimes you won't have that many you'll notice here I probably have like 10 lava pups sometimes you only have three sometimes you have like none sometimes you'll have a ton of them you can't really count on the lava pups but Usually, you'll have some. Usually, you'll have at least this many. So, there we go, guys. Boom! Three stars. Uh, not an easy raid by any means, but, you know, it can certainly be done. You just gotta have a plan like I did. Start in one area. If it works, 
then start in another area with the first part of the deployment and then just work your way in a circle around the base I know it you know it sounds complicated as we're going through the raid but you guys can do it and the more you practice it the easier it gets um, it's not always gonna it's not ever gonna be like totally easy but you guys can do this so let's check out a sort of a different raid from the other clan they were able to three star a couple of our guys so we'll check out at least one of those raids but as I was saying they did it completely different so let's look at this one right here um, check it out they don't have golems that's the main difference here they're just gonna drop heroes right here with actually one giant just to distract for a moment but these heroes are gonna do a lot of work I was I was amazed by how well this worked and you guys are probably gonna be amazed too so they split up the king went into one compartment he's gonna take out a bunch of key defenses like archer towers and wizard towers are key defenses against this army and that uh, that archer queen took out that whole compartment now my only problem with this is he hasn't killed the clan castle and he hasn't even touched the enemy arch queen eric's archer queen is a level 40 arch queen it's still intact and it's in the middle but you know he really couldn't get to that arch queen very easily and that was his idea here he he knew he couldn't kill it with um his his heroes so he's gonna deal with it later now this is a good way to deal with the enemy clan castle a balloon um, if you guys know how to do that it's a good way to do it because then you won't need a lightning spell like I had to use in my raid so that's something to consider guys here we go he's just gonna go heavy on this bottom side just lava union spam and this is the sketchy part of this raid so you know look he has a level 40 arch queen that is full health just peppering his troops and at this point when I was watching this, I'm thinking, how is this going to work? What's he going to do here? Well, of course, he's going to rely on his balloons to hit the Arch Queen. And it's a little bit of luck, but, you know, he did obviously intend for this to happen. His balloons are going to drop on that Tesla right there and drop on the Arch Queen as well. So, boom, they took her out. So now his balloons have sort of split up. He saved a few to drop on the left side there. And that's going to allow his balloons in the middle to go straight up through the base. And he's just making it look easy here. I mean, really great raid by Juan here. He really, really did good. I got to give him props. This was a proper raid. He really, you know, worked out every problem in this base really well. Uh, dealing with that Archer Queen, taking out, you know, a third of the base with just his heroes. And then this right here. So you know how I was just talking about this, guys. You're going to have a final wizard tower that you got to take out. He uses a giant. It's a great idea. Uh, I've seen a few people do this lately, and I think I'm going to try it. You know, I, I used like four or five balloons in my raid. He just used a giant. So maybe I'll bring like two giants to do this if I uh, do this again this war. We'll see. So there he goes. Cleaning up the last two defenses. Looks like he's going to get it. No problem. And yeah, Eric is not a low member in our clan. I think he was number 20 or something. You know, definitely not one of the lowest guys. Not an easy guy to three-star, but Juan did it. So, great job, Juan. Really uh, winning it for your clan there. This and one other three-star won it for these guys. So, uh, props to them. Great war from Farming Kings. Really got to give you guys respect. As I said, they're a long-time clan. They've been around for a long time. I've known about them. We haven't warred them before, but it was really an honor to war you guys. So, thanks for a good war. So guys, that is it for today. I'm glad we got to talk about these uh, slightly different styles of Lava Lunion. Every raid is different. That's the bottom line. But you got to have a plan. you got to go in and take out at least one air defense. Take out a few defenses with your heroes. And then go in with the Lava Lunion. That's what I'm going to recommend you guys. You know, base your raid around that. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like and a comment. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.